Okay, so anyway, this is my Tower Trainer 40. Got a lot of comments on one video about just what it can do, what it's capable of, will it 3D and all that. So we're going to take it out today and show you. Roll rates, how quickly it rolls, how quickly it does stalls, how well it hovers, how fast it goes, how slow it can go. Um, anyway, we've done a couple modifications to it. Um, you've seen videos before where we've done flaps testing and motor testing. Well, the flaps didn't really work. I was using a poor quality radio, went out of range, and the plane flew away for a while. But we've got a JR7202 7 channel radio with full function FM capability. So it's got a lot more range than the Blitz RC radio we had from the A10. So this has three position flaps we can use. It's got AUX2, which is not being used, gear switch not being used, dual rates, all that. So anyway, most people probably know that trainers are set up with one single servo in the middle. And they would wonder, how do you have flaps that work with one servo like this? So you have ailerons that move, but you also have them move the same way for flaps. And you think, how is that possible if you only have one servo? Well, I modified my wings to be a dual servo with dual plugs in, with one of them plugged into uh, the aileron receiver channel and the other one plugged into the aux one receiver channel. So when you do aileron, they move opposite. When you do flaps, they move the same. So it's all pretty cool. So we'll be testing that out today while we're out there flying, seeing how well it takes off, lands, and flies with the flap system. We also have a dual rate system, so everything's right now in high rates, rudder and everything. You can flip your dual rate switch and everything comes down. This here is our dual rate, it's a universal dual rate switch. So everything at turn and everything goes to half. So that's kind of cool. And there's also rudder mixing. Flip the little switch, and now the rudder is mixed into the ailerons. Turn it off. No rudder. Turn it on. Yes, rudder. Not mixed very much because it's a lot more effective than not having it. Doesn't need to be very much. Flaps position one. Dual rates on. Dual rates in high. Over here, so I can hear what you're saying better. All right, we're all normal. Dual rates high, flops up. All right, and this flight will be showing capabilities of the Tower Trainer 40, as far as roll rates, loop rates, speed hammerheads possibly and just the various types of tricks and capabilities of this aircraft with all throws set to the max. So on this next flyby we'll be doing a roll with full aileron and full rudder to show you the maximum roll rate of the trainer. That was a full speed flyby, with the wind, of course. Probably got a 10 mile an hour wind. Yeah, it's a, I don't know. It keeps standing in the way. I know, because I like these beside you, not behind you. So I'll do another full speed flyby, a little further out. Now we're into the wind. 
So on the next pass, we will have a little bit of speed. We're gonna go into a straight up to a stall into a hammerhead. So that's straight up, pulling it up straight to a hover and hammer head over. And then pull out. Now one trick you can do with these that's kind of cool is sliding. Or once you're nice and high, do full rudder to one direction and aileron to the other to keep yourself... I think I'm doing that the wrong way. Let me get my orientation, then I'll explain what this is. So. One trick you can do that's kind of cool is sliding. You do full rudder to one direction and you compensate with the opposite aileron. And that allows you to fly nice and sideways. You can even climb doing this. There we go, there's a slide right there. The thing's actually flying sideways. All right, we're out of it. Now for all you 3D guys who want to see how well a trainer will do 3D and hovering, this flyby here will turn into a hover. And the only way to get it into a hover is to do nice, fast climbs. And then you just gotta hold it as long as you can. So there we are, we've established hover. And I, I lost it, can't hold it. That's about as long as you can hover a trainer. So 3D would not be the best idea in a trainer. Let's see, one other thing this plane is highly capable of is low, or not low, slow. I had an S in front of low. Slow flight. So we'll bring the throttle down. And this plane is modified, so it does have onboard flapperons, or flaps, mixed with the ailerons. So you can pull the flaps down to allow yourself to fly slower and stably. So I'm in flaps two now. So flaps are in the, the land position. But I'm not actually gonna be landing. This is just to try and fly as slow as possible. Going to low rates. I probably could have bled off more speed before the approach. So I'll try another another longer approach. Still in low rate. Flaps one. Gotta just trim a little bit. So low throttle, flaps in the one position. Flaps now in position two. And we're just going to try and make this nice, slow, and graceful. Flaps one, going up, dual rates back to high, flaps up. I'm clear, go ahead. All right, once this guy takes off, we're just going to have to fly a pattern for a little bit. Once he's off the ground, We'll come in and we'll try and do a nice smooth landing. Flaps in position one. Flaps in position two. And there's that sound. Low RPM with flaps in position two. We get a weird sound. Ducks. Nice landing.